Today we will learn about care during purchase, storage of various food items, fresh, processed and storable for longer duration. I am Dr. Anjana Agarwal. Everybody purchase the food, eat the food, store the food. If we take care of them, we can get better quality of food, which will be much more fresher, much more healthy, much more appealing and much more tasty and flavorful. Food can be purchased from the mall, food can be purchased from the market, various grocery shops in the vegetable market, fruit market and it can also be purchased from the vendors. Some vendors comes in the streets. But if we know the shelf life of the food products, then it is much more better to consume the food and store the food. What is shelf life? Shelf life is the period during which any kind of food can be shelved or stored. Many people are purchasing milk on a daily basis because they know this next day the milk will be spoiled. On a general basis, people tend to purchase in the quantity depending upon the size of the family or the requirement for any kind of occasion. There is another word perishable. Perishability is what? Perishability is the one which means that food item will spoil after some time. What is that? You will know here there are three levels of perishability of food, perishable food, semi-perishable food and non-perishable food. This perishable food are the one which can be stored for one to two days. Semi-perishable foods are the one which can be stored for one to week only and non-perishable food are the one which can be stored for months together for more than six months even for a year also. First we will talk about the perishable food. Why perishable? The first line you will see here they spoil faster. You are seeing some of the examples also milk, green leafy vegetables, meat, even fish is are very perishable in nature. They will spoil within one to two days. Next is your semi perishable food. You are not buying the potato daily. You are not buying the butter daily. You are not buying the processed food daily, but we are buying on a regular basis, maybe weekly, maybe after one month because they will store or they will not spoil within weeks or within a month. So, they has to be consumed during that period only that is why they are called semi perishable food. Now, we are talking about the non perishable that does not mean they will not spoil, but they can be stored for a longer period maybe for a month or maybe for a year because I will just give you the example cereals pulses are grown seasonally once a year if they are stored properly they can stay for longer period. Now we are talking about the quality indicators. The quality we will choose on the basis of what freshness, color, smell, cleanliness of the food. I will just in this picture you are seeing the mango which is available in summer season which looks very fresh here. This is an what? This is an orange. It is looking fresh, quite ripe and this is an orange here. Another item I will show you here is tomato. This is not so fresh. So, if you see these two items, you can identify the difference in the quality on the basis of color, on the basis. So, you do not have to eat everything to see the quality. 
Now, we will talk about the specific quality indicators for regularly used food items. This picture you can see the bread, you can see the paneer and you will see the freshness and the softness in the picture itself. When you are buying the paneer, you will not be able to identify the freshness if it is closed or if it is wrapped. When you buy the bread, then you will see some it should not be cracked, it should not be tumped, it should not be darkened or the other thing it should not be spoiled. Now, we will individually talk about the selection of food, care while purchasing the food because the once purchased your money is lost if your food item is not healthy, if your food item is not good enough in quantity and good enough in quality. First, we will talk about the perishable food item. We have to be very careful because they will spoil within one or two days. So, in this picture, you are seeing so many food items, the dairy products, milk, curd, paneer and the fish, meat, fruits and some of the vegetables. This is your spinach. Do you think this is a fresh? This is little bit milky. This is a kind of fresh. When you are buying the fresh fruits, so this is an apple. You will see slight wrinkles on this. So this is not very fresh one. So you have to see what kind of fruit is best looking and you can also smell it. Food is not getting spoiled, but by smell you can smell the freshness the flavor, the aroma which comes from the fresh fruit. This is a papaya. In this condition, you can purchase it because this is not overripe, this is not raw, but it is medium quality. These are whole grapes. So, this is how the grapes are available, but you need to see these should be the whole round full of juice. This is a black grape. You will find that black grape most of the time the white marks are there. So, these white marks are not for the spoilage. These are the coatings which the vendors cover it at a larger scale to protect them. And many times when you buy you need to really be very careful of such grapes. These are the empty stems or twigs I will say. Because when they put in the bag, they will put all these into there and your weight increases and you come to the home and then you find your yeah, eatability of grapes are only half of it and rest are you have to throw it out because they are spoiled. I will also talk about the milk is one you bring the milk home in the packet, in the bottle or from the dairy is open. But you need to see if that curdles even after boil uh, within one hour of bringing it home or within one day bringing it home it curdles then this is not a good milk. You should not use that kind of milk. So, do not think of making the paneer every time and use it from there because originally that milk has been spoiled. Now, we are talking about the storage of perishable foods. When we are buying perishable vegetables, then where you can keep it, you can use this kind of plastic basket. In this, some of the fruits, vegetables like chilies are kept inside. Or you can also use the cane basket. If you are buying any kind of food material which is half eaten or scratched, this is the stem. If you take out all these stem out, the perishability of cauliflower will be less. So, this provides the protection to the vegetables which can be increased for more than one day. Now, I am talking about the milk, curd, cream, khoa, etc. I am just talking about the individual food which are very important while you are buying and selection and the storage. Here there are two types of milk are available, toned milk which has no cream and the full cream milk. 
whatever cream is there that means that type of milk will spoil faster due to the spoilage of fat present in it and technically it get rancid and you must buy from the clean and hygienic place. Remember this point again and again I am telling the milk and the liquid are the one which spoil faster. Now I will continue to talk about the curd which should be kept in cool place if that curd is placed in a warmer place that will spoil faster and it will become more sour. Never mix old milk and the fresh milk why that will curdle the milk. Keep away all the strong smelling food you should not keep the milk container open and with that your fruits at the same place open and such as guava, onion, mango as I told you just now because the smell goes in the environment and it can easily be absorbed by the milk. Now I am coming to the meat and its product. When we are purchasing the meat and its product we need to be very careful to see the meat. Meat has to be fresh and pink in color not very tough. If it is tough that means that meat is spoiled. If it is dark that meat is aged. So, all these things we need to be very very careful about it. It should be soft, smooth and should not smell bad and it should look bright in red in color and there should not be any kind of thumb impression. If it is remains that it is not fresh. The stinking fish is very bad should never be consumed and it gives you the obnoxious smell. The within one day a maximum two days the fish is spoiled should not be used at all. If you want to remain with the quality characteristics should be stored in cool place. Now we will talk about the semi perishable foods. Semi perishable foods are the one which can stay for weeks for months together. Some of the semi perishable foods are the ginger, your oils, your butter, biscuits all such items comes under semi perishable food. I will show you some of the examples of semi perishable foods. This is onion, potato, ginger these are processed food. So, you will take care these processed foods you will see all are packaged egg. In this picture you will find if you think there is no sound is there when shaken it is a good one. The shell should be rough and when this is immersed in the water down that means it is in heavy and it is settled down. If it is a very light one it floats on top that shows the egg is spoiled and your internal material is spoiled. Now we are talking about the storage of egg which is equally important. When you buy the egg from one side it is pointed from other side it is round this should be put like this. Why? Because air sac is there on tip of the egg as the egg ages then your air sac goes larger and which is an indication of spoilage of egg. If you put that egg downward pointed then your shelf life of the egg will be more and it should be stored in a cool and dry place. The bread it should be soft to touch should not press easily and original in shape. I am showing you are the picture of fresh bread and the stale bread. In this packet it is a peanuts you can see here. In this label you will see on one side the nutritional facts which will help you to know how nutritious this food is. Then you will see the what kind of flavors, what kind of ingredients are given here. Then you will also see the manufacturing date which is written as MFD. You will see the net weight, you will see the MRP best before the FSSAI mark. That means this is a quality product if you see such marks on the label. And in the lower part you will also see how you should use it. And this is also one of the item you will use it for eating. 
Here you will see on the corner green mark. When you see the green mark, it indicates it is a 100 percent vegetarian food and on top it is written as ready to eat. I am showing here the suji, atta, maida, dalia, spices all comes under semi perishable food. They should be stored in containers not loosely. Whenever you are bringing from the market either those items are available or should be purchased in the container itself or they should be transferred immediately in the closed airtight container. When you are buying such kind of item, you should see there should not be any kind of lump, any kind of bevel or insects. When you are purchasing some of the spices, some of the food items are also having the egg mark, which is also a standard quality mark in our country India. Now, I will tell you about the storage. There are one way to store suji. You can directly store in any type of container and to avoid the weevil or to avoid the insect development, you can roast it dry without using any kind of oil. Then you can also store in bottles or closed container for a longer period of time. This oil, ghee and butter are very important regularly used as butter is used as such but oils and fats and ghee are used in your food preparation. But as soon as they are exposed to heat, light, air, they tend to spoil and you may not know so early, but when they start bad smelling, you should not use it. That means they are stored. In this picture, you are seeing some of the time this butter, ghee is placed in open container because it is easy to use it. You can buy the closed packet only. You should never buy the open ghee from the market. Now, this is the cheese and paneer. It is so fresh in this, not slippery in touch. Cheese and paneer should be stored either lightly fried or should be kept in cold water or in refrigerator. There are various other ways also. You can keep those paneer for a more longer time. And cheese is generally comes in a packet form. You should not open the wrapper and keep it as such that will become harder and darker and should not be used. Potato onion should be stored in the basket. Whenever they are smelling, they should not be used. In rainy season, this is a very common practice. Now, we are showing you here various kind of pictures, the potato and how this potato and mango is getting spoiled, which is very harmful not only in taste and flavor, but is very harmful to health also. You need to care that it should not be torn from anywhere. This should not be swelled up. All these are small, small things which you will take care. How you will store the processed food if it is Suppose I have shown you the biscuit, you open it, you are not consuming the whole product at one time, then you take out the whole product and store in the plastic containers. Now we will talk about non-perishable foods. Non-perishable foods can be purchased in large quantity and can be stored for longer duration of time. Which are the non-perishable foods? They are cereals, pulses, sugar, jaggery, coffee, salt, tea, etc. When you are buying, there should not be too much of filth, small grains, small stones, pebbles, husk. It should be bought from the market cooperatives and other places. Even you can buy from the wholesale market because the cost will vary to a large extent. When you are buying in season, for example, wheat comes out in April, May. You can purchase in large quantity and store for later use. So, because at that time the wheat is cheaper. Now, I will tell you what to do after you purchase it. It needs to be cleaned if necessary and then store it in the container, preferably in the large container depending upon the quantity and the airtight container. Now, I am talking about the selection of sugar, jaggery, tea and coffee. I will show you the green tea. This is a 
box of green tea. In this you will find the method to make the green tea and pouches are available and container is closed. Some of the health benefits are also written, but be careful that package should be closed when you are purchasing it. Here you can see the closed container for the sugar, for the tea, for the coffee, storage of various kinds of food items. This is a topic on food spoilage. Everybody must have experienced in life some kind of spoiled food. I will tell you this is a very good indication. You will say spoiled food and I am saying the good indication. Why it is good indication? Because when you see or when you smell any kind of spoiled food you will not consume and that is how you will protect your body from harm from any kind of infection any kind of disease. If by chance you are not able to smell the spoilage in food you may fall sick you must have heard some kind of incidents of food poisoning and in this picture you can see how badly such different kinds of foods are spoiled total cotton like surface on the fruit. What is food spoilage? It occurs when the quality of food is damaged or when it becomes unfit for human consumption. That is called spoiled food. That means you cannot eat it. There are different ways or different agents I will say which spoil the food which can be microorganisms. In this we will also include the bacteria, virus, yeast etc. Then enzymes which are inherently present in the food. Then the insects and rodents. Rodents are rats. They are roaming around and nobody can stop all these agents. So, but we need to take care of them and prevention is the best method. First I will talk about the microorganisms. Microorganisms are the tiny creatures or living bodies which cannot be seen by naked eye, but present everywhere all the time. If they enter in one kind of food, they will multiply it very fast and becomes in lakhs in number. Some of the microorganisms are good also. How? You eat the curd. How that curd has been made with the use of healthy microorganisms? Some of them are known as lactobacillus. You eat the idli, you eat the dosa, there also healthy bacteria are growing in which is making the food or leavening the food and which develop the flavor and the other characteristics in the food which you like it. Another thing you will hear it, some of the microorganisms are very harmful which spoil the food you can see that such a harmful orange is there, green, white and all such things. Here are mold, how does it leak? Mold are the one which makes the food white cotton like surface. Bacteria are unseen, but they are in different shapes and sizes and another yeast, if they are developed in larger number, they can spoil the food. You make the bread, you make the bhatura, in that yeast is used to a certain amount to a certain degree if that is in excess that will spoil the food. Now which are the useful one and which are the harmful one? Harmful one will spoil the food and good ones are prepared the food like idli and curd. This is a bread. Can you relate in your mind the picture? To this extent your microorganism can spoil the bread. So, before that you must understand what is happening. Some chemicals are being used in excess amount. This bread must have been kept in that area where the heat is there, where more of the microorganisms are developing that is why this is there. Now this is enzyme. Enzymes are the chemical agents present in the food inherently which helps in ripening of the food. 
and due to which the foods are having some color, some flavor and some kind of texture also. You can imagine overripe fruit, you can imagine the raw fruit. So, even after harvest these enzymes continue to work and if they continue to work they will overripe the food which will become unfit for the human consumption. Now, I am just showing the insect and rodents. This way the rodents are the one which will rot in the food or they will leave their excreta there, their droplings, their urine which will spoil the food you may not know it. So, whenever you are taking out the food you must see if there is any kind of rat attack there, any kind of insect infestation is there. It is easy to know the insect infestation because in pulses for example, there is a hole that means that insect is inside the hole. In other thing there you can see the crawling like ants, insects, some of the insects are there which crawl around and rats you are seeing so nicely he is eating and you can also see the what can be the impact of eating the rotten food or eating the food which you have not identified that it has already been eaten by the rat or insects. So, that can result in the diarrhea, vomiting and any kind of disease. Prevent yourself from consuming spoiled food that will be much more healthy for you. So, buy healthy food, nutritious food, tasty food, well balanced food in texture, color and everything. Thank you so much.